Now what I'm going to show you today is how to take an ordinary grocery store bouquet and turn it into something spectacular. I was at Walmart today and I picked up this bunch of roses. It came with a few stems of hydrangea and I found this little gift box. It's a shoe box. It's already decorated. You can actually, if you didn't find this, you could get wrapping paper and an ordinary box and cover it yourself, but I happen to find this really cute little pink box with a lid. And we're going to make an arrangement in it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is start soaking my floral foam. And when you soak fl floral foam, you want to make sure you just set it into water and let it soak on its own. Don't push it down, don't pour water over it, just let it absorb naturally. If you try to force it or rush it or you pour water over the top, it's going to look like it's wet, but then when you cut open the inside, it's actually going to be dry. And this is something that's really important. Even professional florists don't even know this and I've even seen them pouring water over the top of their oasis and you know when you get an arrangement from a flower shop and it dies two days later now you know the reason why because they didn't soak their foam properly. So we're going to let that soak. Actually I'm going to put in another piece. Probably need a little bit more. So while that's soaking I'm going to show you what to do with the box. So first of all I've got about a yard and a half of ribbon and I'm just going to tie a bow around the top. Just a simple bow, just like you tie your shoes. I'm just going to make a simple knot, and then, like I said, just like you're tying your shoe. A loop, and a knot, and just let your streamers hang. And I'm actually going to cut those at an angle. This will keep the edges from fraying, and it also looks better. So we've got our lid almost ready. What I'm going to do with that, I found a chopstick. You can get floral picks. You could get um, those little skewers you use for barbecue. I'm using this chopstick just because I had one. And I'm going to cut this off just to make it shorter. And I'm just going to tape it to the inside edge of the lid. And you just put a piece of tape across it. You might have to do it a couple times just to give it some strength. But just tape that on. And this way, you'll be able to attach this lid into your arrangement later when we get this finished. And what I have here, I've taken a trash bag and I cut it up so I could layer it into three layers. You want to have a good solid amount of plastic in here so that the water doesn't leak out and ruin your box because that you want to be able to use this again whoever you're giving it to so I'm just going to put my plastic down in here and I'm going to take my floral foam I'm going to cut it to about the size that I want I'm kind of eyeballing this as you can see see how the whole center is actually all soaked in. That's what you want to see. You don't want to see any dry spots in there. So I'm placing this in here. I'm going to put my edges that I had. I'm going to fill in around the sides so that you get this in there securely. I'm going to cut this one. So now um, you don't have to fill this whole thing in solid and in fact you want to have it lower than the edge of the box. If it's higher than the edge of the box, you stand a chance of getting this wet, and that's not a good thing. So then you want to trim this. Just trim the plastic down. So. There we go. Now my container's ready. I can put a little water in here, but because this is cardboard, I'm gonna wait until the end. When I get all my stems in and any excess water that pushes itself out of this foam, it's gonna appear in here. So I wanna wait until I'm finished so I can decide then how much water I could add to this. So 
Right now we're just going to set that aside. So next, I want to get my flowers ready. I have three stems of hydrangea, and then I have all these roses. Now, they are already really open. All I want to do is just clean off the bad petals. So I'm just going to go through each one. These have already been dethorned and the leaves removed at the bottom of the stem because I bought them from a retail store. So that's already been done for me. If you get them from a wholesaler, you may have to clean the thorns off and you can see how to do that in one of my other videos on cleaning roses. This one doesn't look so good. It's kind of losing its petals in the middle. We're going to sacrifice him. So, and again, I'm just going to go through and clean off these petals. These are the guard petals. This is what protects the rose in shipping. I don't mind if it's a, got a little bit of green on it, but when they're bent and they kind of look brown, you want to, or they have damage on them, you want to take those off. Like here, you can see it's a little bit brown. Just pull that off. And now you're probably thinking, oh wow, those roses are so blown open. And if I were to do an arrangement and leave these really long, yeah, we wouldn't get much time out of this arrangement. It would probably die overnight. But because we're going to use these stems really short, they will last longer. And you'll be surprised at how long they do last. And I know, ooh, that one doesn't look good, so we're going to sacrifice him too. But um, I know a lot of people think that, oh, you know, long stem roses are the best and the longer the stem, the more expensive it looks. But that's actually not true. That's kind of a thing that, sorry guys, but guys usually think the stems need to be really long. And But a beautiful, low, full arrangement is sometimes even nicer. So now what I'm going to do is just start with my three stems of hydrangea and I want to just cut the stem a little bit so that it can get a nice, cut it at an angle so your water can get to the flowers. And I'm going to just cover one corner and I'm going to take this stem and cover the other corner. And you just want to be careful when you put the stems in, you want them to go all the way to the bottom because you want them to drink. But you don't want to shove them in there so hard that you tear your plastic liner. So just kind of be careful when you're putting them in. And then I'm just going to put one more here and that's going to cover this side. So now I want to determine, okay, where am I going to put my lid? And I think for here, since I want to cover one corner, um, I'm going to put it like this. So I'm just going to put that into my foam and again just be careful with the tip of that chopstick that you don't cut through your plastic. So I have my lid on there and now I'm just going to start filling in with the roses and you just cut them. I'm using a knife but if you feel more comfortable using clippers you can do that too. And just start putting your roses in. Tuck them in between your hydrangea stems and just cut them, you know, the length so that they can go down to the bottom of the container to get water. And the shorter the stem is, the shorter distance that water has to go, so therefore the longer your roses will live. So even though these are blown open, you'll be surprised at how long this arrangement actually lasts. So I'm just going along and filling in all these holes and all the gaps. And you want to put them in at varying levels. So I've gotten, you know, all of the box is covered. You don't see any more of the edge. But now I can go in and then just give it some depth. So I'm going to leave some a little bit longer so that they're not all flat. You want to just kind of get this rolling, roughly feel going and get movement in the piece. You can separate the hydrangea stem so you get a rose in between. Put one up here. Now I'm going to turn this. And let's get one that's just kind of peeking out over the top of the box cover. I'm going to do one more on this corner. And then, so it doesn't look like a 
loaf of bread. Let's get one more coming out a little bit further. You know, so that sort of takes that rectangular feeling away and it just gives it a softer look. And that one. And this last one, we'll put him over here. So now I've got this beautiful arrangement. If I want to, I can take some of these rose leaves and add those in between. And that just adds like another little bit of green into the piece. And there you go. Let's do this one, one more leaf. Uh, we'll tuck this guy in over here. And there you go. I mean, what mom would not love this for Mother's Day or your wife or girlfriend for a birthday or Valentine's Day? I mean, this is a perfect gift. And I found all of this at Walmart, believe it or not. Gorgeous. What Walmart sells that?